I like the premise. It was laboured. It was on for too long. That, yeah. that whole scene, don't make me say it, that whole scene could have been 20 minutes short. But, uh, <laughs> that old chest I agree. Again. <laughs> I totally agree. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Phil Marriott with Sean Vickers and Raj Rudolph continuing our BFI Flair film review coverage. It's been a massive festival this year. So much to talk about. Some great documentaries. Some really good movies, too. Although, I've got to say, probably the prominence was documentaries, I think, this year. Oh, I agree with that. For me, for me personally, the documentaries have been phenomenal uh, yeah. at Flair this year. Yep, so this is, um, this is a Romanian movie. It's directed by Eugène Jevelno and written by Awana Muraru. And it follows the struggle of a young Romanian uh, gendarme or policeman called Christy, who is trying to find the balance between his gay life and being in the police force in, in Romania and trying to find the right line to tread where he's respectful to both parts of his life. And at times he's successful and at times he's not. Uh, and so it kind of follows his story uh, over the course of a few days in Romania. It really is his story as well, as opposed to his partner's, isn't it? Because his partner, you see that that relationship at the beginning, but then it does go into into his job, problems that he's facing at work. An interesting one. But yeah, I, I was fascinated by this story. I, I thought the performances were really good. I just don't know if there's something in the back of my head that I was wanting to find out more, and I didn't really find out enough. Yeah, for me, it just... I kind of lost interest pretty quickly uh, with this film. I really liked the scenes with uh, the sister and the confrontation there um, sort of at the beginning, but I just felt like once they were in that uh, movie theater scene um, that gets interrupted by some protesters, it just went on and on and on and on. Way too long for me. And uh, I really wanted to like it. I really did, but I just, I just felt it was like too long in the middle for me. It just didn't hold my interest. The reactions felt, you know, very real, but I just, it didn't make me like the character at all. Like, it just was a bit too flat for me. So unfortunately, you know, this this film didn't grab me. I never really wanted to like it. <laughs> I have to agree, Raj, I think. It was a little empty for me, which I don't mind. So I was, I was interested in Christy and his French boyfriend Hadi's story to some extent and how it was kind of, clandestine in a way the relationship with the sister i thought was interesting but they could have gone further with it because you kind of get the punchline as the sister's like walking out the front door and you're like okay now i get it and then you know the 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 movie scene with the kind of like ultra uh nationalistic homophobic group blocking the queer film i like the premise it was labored it was on for too long that, yeah. that whole scene don't make me say it that whole scene could have been 20 minutes short but, uh, <laughs> that old I again. I totally agree. <laughs> but uh, i've rolled it out my my favorite line was 20 should have been 20 minutes shorter but uh, there's something about it and um i think what what i found the bits i found interesting was his this knowingness from the other policemen and then in some ways there's a kind of weird sexual frisson with some of them or like knowing or that maybe they were doing something similar, but they got away with it. There was there was something underlying, which I thought that should have been explored because I thought it, the way it was presented was quite interesting. But the general premise of the storyline, the general plot on it was a bit, yeah, meh. It didn't, it didn't hold me. See, I'm, I'm the same. I, I think in some ways it was a film of two halves because it, it drew it drew me in at the beginning. And like you said, Raj, about the, you know, the, the relationship with his sister, I thought was really interesting. And I thought, oh, this is this is really going somewhere. And then it became a different film almost when they went to the to the cinema. And I thought it was going to turn into some like funny games because there's something really. Is it funny games? Can't remember that movie. It's like a horror film that they remade, which just dragged on the scene so so much i just lost interest for that reason you know there's really good films that are set against the same sort of story you know firebird is another example but it's just layered a lot more cleverly i think where this just felt very flat and you know you just you just didn't get to know the characters enough and using the same amount of time that you know firebird does i hate to compare movies but um you know, you can see vastly different results. And I suppose because he was, you know, 
closeted at work. It, that that was the problem, wasn't it? Because it, it it was almost like he was two people. He was trying to pretend to be this 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 straight straight guy at work, but yeah, m- maybe maybe that was the problem though, is that you never really knew who he was. Yeah, I mean, there's two observations on my side. One is around the cinema scene. So I think it was I think the, the, as a as a device, it was meant to be long, so you could feel the intensity of him feeling more and more uncomfortable at the fact that he might be outed to his work colleagues, but. It, I'd, for some way, way it was framed it didn't land that way but I think I know what they were trying to do and the second thing which I thought was interesting which was when he was speaking in English to his boyfriend even when he was with his work colleagues because his work colleagues didn't speak English he was weirdly out so like he had this moment where he was on the phone to his boyfriend but he was with his colleagues and it, it, in that moment he was himself for the only time in the movie and and I thought I found that really, really intriguing because they, he was like, they don't understand me. And therefore I can weirdly speak to my boyfriend in English and say, oh, I'll see you later and I'll see you at home. And it's all quite, and it was, this, it was that, that was the bit where I found very interesting as a bit of interplay, uh, which maybe they could have worked worked around a bit more, but yeah. Mm. So it is called Poppy Field and I'm going to go for a two star rating. It's a two there for me, go. isn't it? Two for me. <laughs> Two's across the board. <laughs> so, if you want to check out our full BFI flare coverage, it is available now on the screen, on the playlist, and we'll be back for another movie review soon for Boys on Film. See you next time. Thanks for watching.